Hey, it's it's Dr. Chua. All right. So, um, do you want to want to get started? Absolutely. So, Shiva, how are you doing, Shivaji? Um, we're going to refer to you as Shivaji uh, during this series. I'm so happy and thrilled that we decided to finally launch this uh, conversations about technology, about SAP, about um, things that we always wanted to talk about. Um, and uh, why don't you tell us uh, about the name of this new series that we are talking and uh, and it'll be great to get started. That's great. So because you call me Shivaj, I got to call you Guruji now. And you know what Guruji means. Guruji is the great oh. teacher. <laughs> So thanks for joining. Uh, it's a great series. So uh, let me let me give credit where it's due. So this is something that you've been thinking about. You and I wanted to do something like a podcast, video series, but you gave you know the, the spark of you know let's start a why should I series, and I think it's a great idea, right? And when we we're gonna keep it short. I think the format as you and I discuss, Guru, um, we want to keep it a, a short format, uh, more uh, conversational about topics that are passionate that you and I are passionate. Um, SAP primarily, and then tech and non-tech at, at different areas. Try to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, so that's what I believe the Why Should I series, and feel free to add anything more. Um, but we we think we want to break the technology jargons into a much more simpler way and clear the FUD and, and kind of bring the most uh, key themes and key benefits and key ideas to a very simpler form. So. That's what the series is about, Guruji. What do you think? Absolutely. I think uh, anything under the sun, but we will start with things that we are comfortable about. <laughs> so definitely SAP is one area wherein at least I feel a little bit comfortable. So we can we can delve into those areas. Absolutely. So the first topic is something that you're more comfortable than I, and, and I'm going to be listening to you as more, uh, because this is this is a topic that you've been very passionate about. Um, so today's topic is uh, rice. Why should I care about rice? Why should anyone care about rice? Any SAP customer care about rice? And and we've all heard this term. So I want I want to understand a few things. Right? If I'm a typical CIO, CTO running a SAP shop, why should I care about rice? Right. So walk us through what it is, and we'll we'll touch on a couple of areas where I, as a customer, would want to know what what this whole thing is about. So why don't you start off with what is rice? What does it offer? And then we'll go from there. Absolutely. So rice is a um, new offering from SAP uh, to make uh, SAP's licenses available as a software as a service for both uh, private cloud and public cloud customers. And it also is geared towards not just um, new customers, but it is also geared towards existing customers. Uh, to help make the journey to the cloud, help make the journey to S4 HANA in a much more elegant manner. Uh, a lot of thought has gone into making this commercialized and making this offering available for uh, the whole range of our customers, uh, both from the small, medium, and large customers and complex customers that you can imagine, uh, who are all complaining you know, how to make this journey smooth. So RISE is a new way to make this journey smoother. Is it an acronym by any chance? R-I-S-C means something else. No, it's it's like think of like going to the cloud. When you go to the cloud, you have to rise from your on-prem right. to the oh, cloud. Okay. So it's pretty much like that. So it's not really, a, a no. maybe there is always, a, the SAP always has a, uh, an expansion <laughs> for uh, everything. Everything is an acronym, but... Uh, so right. far, at least as far as I know, I don't think it's an acronym. Yeah, the, the, the SAP jargon acronyms, you know, we confuse a hell lot of people and I hope this isn't one of them. But so so I, this is a great program. Looks like it's, it's um, you know, if, if you are, if this program is to help the customers go move towards your cloud journey and S4 journey and uh, what does it offer and how different, you know, we've been talking about S4 for quite some time and into cloud, you know, HEC, you've got SHC, you've got PaaS, SaaS. Break it down into a, a simpler form for me. What does it offer and how does it differentiate? Maybe you can take the first part and then we can talk about how does it differentiate. Absolutely. So, so I'm going to divide this into a couple of parts. Um, definitely 
um, when we have commercial customers, um, the rice offering also includes certain packages that uh, along with the uh, the main S4 HANA uh, cloud licenses or cloud um, subscription, um, they, in order to incentivize the customers to take advantage of a lot of other components, um, SAP is including um, packages that uh, will allow them to get started on their journey with uh, the Ariba business network, um, get started with the SAP cloud platform and get started with SAP analytics cloud and uh, a business transformation as a service component along with the cloud, um, along with the cloud offering. But the fundamental aspect is uh, the S4 HANA um, software is now made available in a cloud-based offering with a subscription model on both private cloud and public cloud uh, setups. So uh, how is it different from uh, how- before you, go, before you go to the, how is it different? Let me ask you this, right? Are you guys trying to sell me more and more software license or is it is it a way to, get me to cloud and make me more um, modern. So help me with that, because I think, you know, Absolutely. it yeah. will get lost in the fact that, oh, SAP is trying to sell more, some aspect to it, but what's, yeah. what's your thought on that? So I think, um, so there are two aspects. One is an, um, for some of the um, middle tier customers and smaller tier customers, they do need um, the ability to have some of the components that will help them rise up uh, to help them to support uh, the journey. We have had to invest a lot in terms of the business transformation aspects, trying to understand from an SAP standpoint and from the customer standpoint, how can that journey occur? Will the journey require a lot of investments on the customer side? Can we make the uh, journey understood in a much simpler manner? So these packages are kind of supporting tools that will help you define the journey in a clearer manner without too much of an investment from the customer standpoint. So we are trying to limit or eliminate the, the, uh, the, any objections that might come out uh, to start the journey sooner. So these are all helping the customer to get, get started. This is more, more about helping the customer transform or modernize their platform in a, in a much more optimized and efficient manner. This is what the DRICE offering is supposed to help Absolutely. through that process, Absolutely. right? The existing investment in SAP um, and, and moving them towards a, a cloud-based uh, ERP solution, right? Yeah. So it, it, it's it's absolutely right. Uh, you got you nailed it uh, clearly. I mean, customers do have their own um, interest, and they have uh, tried to start their journey. We are making it uh, easier for them, both commercially and also from a transformational step standpoint. We are providing them the tools okay. to make it happen. That's the key point, right? And, and I think well, you you said it right. It's it's a, it's the difference is commercially as well as from a technical modernization path and i think that's an important aspect you know people forget that uh, it's purely a technical transformation path without realizing that there's a complex commercial licensing aspects and what you're telling me right now is that rice has made it much more easily consumable that aids the technical transformation that's, Absolutely. that's pretty neat that's that, pretty neat yeah um, so, so let me let me pivot to another question then. So now that I understand what we're trying, you know, what we're trying to do, how different is this from the S4 cloud that we talked, you know, SAP has been talking about for quite some time? How different is it from the um, commercial cloud providers and the HIC offering that we've we've been giving, you know, offering to our customers? How is it different from 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 those? You know, whether it's technical or yeah. commercial. So uh, I will. So the fundamental aspect is rice by default includes as a, as the, the 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 main component of rice is either a public cloud or a pri private cloud SaaS offering of S4. Okay, and the depending upon the customer, if let us say you are a government CIO and you are looking to purchase uh, this rice package, obviously we will work with you on a private cloud specifically because there are security aspects, there are FedRAMP requirements that are, uh, you need a FedRAMP based infrastructure, you need to use your own infrastructure. So making it available on a private cloud um, and also making it available on a public cloud for both the offerings. 
but the aspect of how it is made commercially viable is not to uh, utilize a, a bring your own license model it, it uses a subscription model and how is it different from a hex is you don't really have to pay the maintenance after this as part of the subscription when you move into the private cloud or the public cloud part of rise you you will be once the go live occurs we sap will help you to transition off or terminate the maintenance the annual maintenance that you need to pay and that is fundamentally the big difference between um, uh, the rise base offering and trying to run it on your own cloud uh, vendors uh, because um, sap will will actually invest or reinvest your maintenance towards the cloud uh, subscription model so, so, so that's so, the key difference you know the, 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 that's a great difference because you know when when we talk about cloud migration uh, customers talk about cloud migration it's always framed the context of a technical migration um and and what i'm hearing is th this I, I like the way that you framed it it's a technical and a commercial transformation you're moving away from having a maintenance tail to a more subscription model in the cloud with a true SaaS offering managed by SAP, right? So this, this all comes into, into uh, picture, you know, that's kind of getting clearer, clearer as, as you walk us through that. So th that's that's a great model. And, and um, what should the customer consider as part of this journey? Like if I want to go to the cloud with my ERP footprint, and I understand there's a commercial aspect that helps me transform my maintenance tail over to a subscription software, what are the things that I should be looking for, constraints? Uh, again, talk to me, walk us through both commercial aspects and technical aspects that as a customer, what I should be concerned about. Yeah, so one of the biggest challenges that was there with the, the SAP public cloud setup is that um, there was a lot of standard, while the commercially it was very flexible, it was very uh, economical model uh, that helped in saving a lot of TCO. It also made a, uh, created a lot of technical constraints because you couldn't bring over the uh, the customizations that you have invested so in so many years. Uh, you couldn't also um, do a conversion in as simple as a brownfield conversion. So there were a lot of constraints in getting to a cloud model. What uh, the private cloud model uh, actually allows you to do is the fact that you can retain your investments in customizations. You can also allow uh, we, uh, you can completely support. Uh, the ability to use a brownfield um, migration if that is something that is uh, identified by your consulting team. And thirdly, if there are certain specific third-party add-ons, there are always SAP supports a lot of third-party add-ons in an on-prem world. And what we wanted to do was continue to support these third-party add-ons. We wanted, you know, I would use the word tolerate because it is in the cloud. We are using SLAs that are offered by SAP. But there is a little bit more flexibility in um, allowing the third-party add-ons to be supported um, in a, a much more flexible manner, very similar to how it would be done in an on-prem world. So uh, when a customer is looking to move to S4, I think you have to look at evaluate your um, journey in terms of um, whether it is a one-step journey or a two-step journey. For the one-step journey, what I mean by that is if you are an ECC or an Oracle, are you looking to migrate to S4 directly, or is there a, a mid path wherein you are doing an ECC on HANA, uh, yep. a suite on HANA, or, or is there a way that there is mix of both things because there are some of the uh, solutions that might not be ready for S4 just because some of those product availability is not available. Um, so you could have a various combinations of this. And the good thing is um, uh, PCE does offer all these paths. They support all these paths. And anything that falls outside of the PC umbrella, there is always an opportunity to keep that within the same uh, setup on a, a side contract with an HEC model. So, so HANA Enterprise Cloud or Secure HANA Cloud HANA. in our federal federal yeah. landscape. That, that's great, great. Um, no, that that's good to you know understand from um, you know you talked about customization, you talked about two step or versus one step process, brownfield technical as um, aspects of it. So. Um, Anything you know from a system integrator standpoint, anything from a SLA standpoint mm -hmm. that we would need to worry about or understand or kind of take care in the new environment? Like, what is the benefit that I get in that? So, um, one great benefit um, what uh, has happened is there is a it's a rice offering is a partner first approach, which basically means um, 
one first of all the uh, there is there are three aspects of implementing s4 one is obviously having an environment to set up s4 uh, which is included in in the rice package uh, the software that is required to support the customer requirements which is included and then basic technical managed services to just run the environment which is included but on top of it you do need functional support you do need um, additional uh, management uh, services from in terms of program management migration activities the uh, a whole set of um, support uh, that is needed surrounding these components which uh, we have worked with partners to provide them as part of what we call as cloud application services and also in terms of application management services beyond uh, basic uh, basis activities so these are all areas where uh, we work with customers and customers si uh, system integrators who take on these journeys i just said they are able to focus on more high value components rather than the low value components and um, it's a, it's an area where they can expand into additional process automation additional process intelligence and kind of create more modernized uh, extensions on top of basic s4 so there is a lot of value add that the system integrators bring to the table besides just um, managing the base and below right that's what you're saying right that's that's yeah. that's a great part and, and and that's when the cloud model allows you to you know without having to worry about the patching and the system upgrades and keeping the lights on um the, the value is in uh bringing more and more innovation at the top of the layer and and that's what I'm hearing that, that that's great so so one one and i guess maybe this is the last or last before um walk me through what are the resources and how do i get or any customer get started on this process because you know i am there's tons of information out there uh, what should i do who should i reach out to what are what are my first steps as a customer so absolutely your your account executive is your best friend um so everybody in the sap organization has been um incubated and have been uh updated in terms of the rice uh, uh offering to our uh, both our uh, aes and the support uh, value added teams that are supporting them and there is a, a, a huge uh, center of excellence that is supporting uh, that is standing behind your ae and we are uh, providing the required um uh, follow on activities in terms of uh, business transformation steps and helping you understand how the rice model would fit in your landscape and um, i think having the conversation with your ae is probably mm -hmm. your first step and then from there we will take through the rest of the journey oh perfect i but i always love to you know get my ae to do the work mm -hmm. uh, so no this is great i definitely like a lot of things that i heard today and for me it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a great learning and trying to understand and passing you know uh hearing more about what rice has to offer um anything else that you want to add and chime into this at this point i think this has been a great conversation i think we should yeah, have I more think of this. This. absolutely i think there is a lot more questions that will come out i think uh, it, the good thing is now we have a lot of answers and uh, it's it's a journey that has been very simplified a lot of effort has gone in uh, so i think um, definitely looking forward to hearing more from our customers um, uh, it's been one of the busiest start of the year uh since jan 27th i i mean I, for me it has been one of the busiest times uh in the last 10 years that i've been with sap never had a busier start to the year so uh, thanks to rice <laughs> i don't know whether to thank them or <laughs> whether it has been just a uh, uh it's a it's it's a it's a good good situation to be in guru ji you're always up for that challenge so i, I you know I, i know you you are work hard you do a lot and i can't keep up with your pace so thanks for the time and i'm i'm sure it's going to keep you busy but i think it's been really helpful in breaking it down i think the more the broader feel understands this the, the effective uh, the campaign is going to look like and and i'm really looking forward to that so thanks a lot absolutely thank you guys thank you so much